Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, it's The Erratic here and in this video we'll be talking about Gran Turismo 7 and especially some of the predatory tactics that have been employed here either by PlayStation or Polyphony or maybe both but there's absolutely something that makes players right now, especially players who maybe don't have a lot of time to play the game a lot and unlock a lot of cars you know, it can be a bit convenient sometimes to buy credits so that you can then unlock some of the higher tier cars and enjoy playing with maybe your favorite car ever, which unfortunately is not accessible because it is locked behind a paywall either with in-game currency or uh, with real money. In this case, we're going to talk about in-game currency, but it can take a long time to have access to that in-game currency, which is why Polyphony is selling uh, credit packs at various prices. Of course, I am European, so the prices I have in euros, but they're probably quite similar in US dollars as well. We have uh, 100,000 credits for 2.49 euros, 250,000 credits for 4.99 euros, 750,000 credits for 9 euros and 99, basically 10 euros, and for almost 20 euros, 19 euros and 99 cents, we have two million credits all right okay so far not that much of a big deal the problem is that the cars are much more expensive in gran turismo 7 than they were in gran turismo sports just to give you an idea it took about two euros and 99 cents in the previous installment of gran turismo to get the porch 919 hybrid 16 but if you want to get it in uh, Gran Turismo 7, it is going to cost you 3 million credits. So how do you get 3 million credits if you don't have it in-game but you really want to have the car now? Well, you have to first buy 2 million credits for 19 euros and 99 cents. But then, oh no, if you spend another 10 euros, then you get 750,000 credits, making a grand total for 30 euros of 700 and. 2,775,000 uh, uh, credits, but then uh, you have to spend even more because remember it's 3 million credits. So how do you spend even more money for that? Then you have to spend an extra 4, uh, four euros and 99 cents, which is making it basically almost 40 euros for one car, which is absolutely insane well you know in the past in the previous game it only cost two euros and 99 cents and uh, it's not just the the only car that is like this. there's quite a handful of cars that are uh, that are expensive some of them are even rarer and even more expensive it's just absolutely uh, it is it's an absolute disgrace if, if you'd ask me i think that a polyphony digital here is trying to cash in on players having uh, some disposable income and they are spending extra money for uh, extra assets in game. I'm thinking of Star Citizen, for example, which is charging hundreds of dollars for spaceships, but there's a big difference between Star Citizen, for example, and Gran Turismo 7. Gran Turismo 7 at release is going to be a game at release. There's no need to be funding the game. The game is already funded from previous installments of Gran Turismo and uh, they're just trying to get a return on investment based off the sales. But it does seem like PlayStation and Polyphony Digital are trying to uh, make even more money off of selling basically cars. These are disguised sales trying to sell cars out of these credits and the fact that just buying one pack of two of credits worth two million credits is not even enough to buy one car and you need to buy more and then one <laughs> and then even more in order to get the car of your dreams i think is a predatory tactic that needs to be denounced and it's not the first time i'm very disappointed with this uh, move here it's actually not the first time that we see these japanese companies trying to have anti-consumer tactics uh, um, the, the one that I have in mind, for example, is Nintendo, who systematically goes against content creators that are using some you know, content or even the music of their video games, where they're actually promoting their game. All right, it doesn't make any sense, right? 
So these are really uh, sad times, I think, uh, because I personally was really excited about Gran Turismo 7. I was even considering maybe uh, getting a PlayStation 5 or seeing if I could uh, get a, a way to, uh, if, if one day it's eventually going to be released on Steam. Yes, there are talks about uh, getting some PlayStation exclusive to Steam. I would definitely get that one on day one. I am not that excited anymore because I just don't want to be supporting companies that do not respect their player base and just see them as milking cows it's just not that great but let me know in the comment section down below guys what do you think of uh, that policy here of charging that much for cars and for people who want to be um, using st uh, store credits basically um, is it necessary or uh, do you think that uh, it's a way to sort of punish people who don't want to spend the time to play the game but at the same time not everybody has time to play the game i, I don't know it's it's an everlasting debate but i'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section down below that's all for this video thank you so much for watching as always have a wonderful day it's the eradicator i'll see you guys later a huge shout out to everyone who's been helping me out on patreon and via the youtube joint membership program creating content on youtube involves continuous circles of ups and downs and it is when we are the lower parts of the curve that your help really motivates me to keep on going. Your contribution really does make a difference, which is why in return I try to give back by offering backers access to my private Discord channel, automatic access to exclusive giveaways, or answering your questions during the show. You can help me out with as little as a dollar a month, and any help is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching again. This is the Eradicator. I'll see you guys later.